Okay guys, so I'm going to be drilling a hole using a force and a bit so that the light socket will sit snugly in the base and then the bulb can sit on. Okay, that's the hole now drilled. The light socket sits snugly into the hole and then I will use a bit of hot glue just to hot glue it in place and that way you can still turn it on and off. And the next step is to cut out a channel for the wire to sit snugly in so that the base will sit flat. So all I've got to do now is assemble it and what I'm going to be using to assemble it is just using Gorilla Wood glue on each of the edges. Do a piece at a time once that's stuck, stick the next one, next one and so on. Before that I'm going to have to replace this piece. Uh, this was my first attempt at drilling the hole. I didn't mark it out to get the centre and as you can see that's, not off, that's off centre. And then did it again and got it centre so we'll be replacing this off to cut the edges again and then we can assemble it Okay, that's the base pretty much done. I've glued the two sides on. I've hot glued the light socket into the base. And as you can see at the bottom, the bleed goes out the back and that's hot glued in as well. So that sits nice and flush. All I need to do now is glue the three top pieces. Okay guys, that's everything now glued together and I've used masking tape to stick it together just so whilst, whilst it, the glue dries and to make sure the joints are flush. So all we have to do now is wait for that to dry. Okay guys, that's the light fitting now finished. I'm just going to give it a coat with some wood stain or you could give it a coat with some clear varnish or just leave it as is. I'm going to give it a slight antique look with this wood stain and after that the, uh, all we need to do is fit the Edison bulb and the light will be finished.